Good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. How are you doing? It's Sunday morning as I'm recording and we are back in with a little bit more Eric Gronville. And as I've picked this song, I realized that I actually nicked the thumb from this song for his first video, always. That's me just not paying attention to what thumb I'm picking. But anyway, this one is I Will Always Love You. Whitney Houston, huge song. I believe it was used in the film track from The Bodyguard. So I'm interested to see whether this is gonna be true to the original or whether whether there's going to be a rock style or some sort of different take on it from Eric. And so that I balance it out, I'll use the thumb from always for this one. Anyway, crack into it. Okay, we get strapped in for Eric now. We know we've heard his voice once. We know he could knock us out of a chair, so we'll get strapped in. I don't need lyrics as I know the song and I know all the words. So here we go. If I should If I should stay, I would only be in your way. So I'll go, but I know I'll think of you every step of the way. Excellent, yes, very, very, very impressive. That really suits his voice, actually. An early pause, because I also want to acknowledge that I was just joking calling the piano player Ozyman. It's just who he reminds me of. It was a compliment, actually, because Ozyman's a legend. I was quite rightly corrected that it is his friend Jonah T, but I was only joking. You know me, maybe you don't. Anyway, spot on so far. Vocal is perfect. The mastering, the mixing, uh, sound quality is absolutely top. Now we'll go back a bit more. My darling, you. Okay. Mm -hmm. What man? Jonah, I know sweet memories. That is all I'm taking with me. So goodbye. Please don't cry. We both know. Yes. Come on, son. 
Kai. I wish I had a lighter to put in the air. Fair set of lungs, son. Fair set of lungs. Whoa! Uh, yeah, didn't even try with the oh, oh, yeah, oh, just went straight with the powerful male vocal growl. Very, very impressive from Eric. I could listen to that over and over, actually. I think there's always something to be careful of when you sing a song that was originally sang by the opposite sex, obviously because of tones of voice, and male and female vocal can be very similar in tone, but you know what I mean when the song was originally sang by a female and then tries to be covered by a male. But it's almost like that was his song, definitely made it his own. It was fairly true to the original throughout. Great music musicianship going on as well. Well done to all the musicians there. Sure it was Jonah on the piano again. Only saw his hands this time. But I do like these stripped back sort of laid bare videos. No big expansive videos going on in the background. Similar to Tommy Johansson, you know, he just has maybe sometimes a humorous little thing going on in the background or it's just him singing powerfully to a mic. Same with Dan Vask and other singers like that. Laid back, stripped bare. Just the singing, that's all we need. And, and it's the voice, that's all we need. Backed up by some beautiful music and great covers and I know he does lots and lots of stuff as well and writes for people so we will definitely get into Eric he's not going anywhere from this channel brilliant performance of a classic ageless song by a huge singing star that's obviously no longer with us passed away in 2012 just 48 years old one year older than I am now but the song and her music lives on for always doesn't it um, and with covers like that getting done it will always be around well done Eric well done to everyone involved more to come from him hit the like hit the subscribe I'll see you back for some more videos.